everybody, I figured it was a great time to show you guys how to get into your Sycamore and pay for stuff. You're probably seeing some charges and wondering, what do I do next? So whenever you start at the Lutheran School, the Sioux Falls Lutheran School website, you can go to Get Involved. And if you go to Connect with Us, then you can find Sycamore. Or you can type in Sycamore Education into your web browser. So here we are in Sycamore. Mine has been automatically saved. I am a parent of a kindergartner, and uh, uh, and my daughter Lydia goes to the Kids Day Out program. So I have my parent profile, and uh, our school code is 1565, if you get that starting up screen. There's lots of great helpers, uh, and even on the email that Kay sent out at the beginning of the year, it tells you how to get logged in, and you should even see it in your email. So when you got invited to Sycamore, just type in Sycamore into your email to find it, and you should have an invitation that looks like this with your school ID and your username. Click the link and you'll make your, your password and all that stuff. So now I'm going to assume you've done all that. If you have problems, you can always ask. Now let's get into Sycamore. You're gonna click Log In, and the school will sometimes put updates over here. Allergy alert reminder, make sure you're filling in your forms so that we can see who's got allergies to keep them safe. Um, how to find the online payment is given right there. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. But first, let's take a look. We've got, I've got my two kids on here, James is kindergarten, Lydia and the two-year-olds. We've got birthdays, we've got the lunch, oh, does not look good, and all sorts of great information. Looking here at the featured, you can see the online payments link, the lunch ordering, your account information. You can click through and see what documents or photos we have as well. So far, not too much, that's okay. We've got the weather on there. How about that? Look at that. That's great. Look at these upcoming events. We've got a volleyball game today at the school. That's going to be fun. Um, only people that were invited get to go, though, because of COVID. So if you are invited, you'll have an email with instructions. Let's take a look now to find um, where you are getting billed. So if you go to the school tab and you go to favorites, yeah, that's where you're going to find your online payments. But how do you know like how you're getting billed for stuff, right? So then you're going to go to my accounting. So if you want to find out what you're being charged, go to child care and go to your account. This will say when you were checked in and checked out. Please look over August and September. Mine's blank right now because my kids aren't utilizing A-OK. -okay. But let's take a look at cafeteria. I do know James has been taking milk during lunch. So there we have it. September, he's already had a bunch of milk. August, he had a bunch of milk. So I need to make sure and pay those balances, right? It looks like I still have a, um, a little bit of script money that got put towards his account. So we're, uh, we're in the black, but if you're ever in the red, that means you owe the money, right? So that's how you find out how much is due. Let's say you've got a big bill due. Where do I go to pay it? Now we can go to Favorites, Online Payments, and you get sent to a different website. Don't worry, it's still secure. See this little lock? That means it's a secure website, and it's one where you can create your profile. It'll save your pertinent information, like your name and your address and your billing address. You're going to log in. So when you log in, here I've got my things, um, so I can edit my account and everything. I'm going to log off, though, just to return to the home page. I don't want you to see my personal information. Oopsie-daisy. I want to go back over here. Let's just open it again. Sorry, I just realized I probably shouldn't show you my passwords and stuff. So I can give to different accounts. Here I've got tuition, A-OK, -okay, which is your child care bill, lunches and milks, which is right there, music lessons, and donations to the school, enrollment fees, and enrichment fees. So there it all is. So if I just have James taking milk, I can, next month I'll probably have to put in some money and pay up my, my milk bill. So there I go.
when I click continue, there's many options. You could pay, you fill in the fields. You could pay with a credit card or a debit card. You could pay with your checking account or you could pay with your savings account. So you just have to know your routing numbers and account numbers if you want to pay from checking. And the credit card payment, I am not certain if you get charged the processing fee on that. I haven't done this yet. I assume you would pay the processing fee. It's one or two percent, right? So you fill in the fields and um, you can click I'm not a robot and process. That is how you pay your bill. So remember, double check your child care. So when you go to my accounting, go to your child care and your account. You have to double check because mistakes are going to happen. I've got two laptops that my staff use for AOK, -OK, and sometimes we get a kid that's been checked out and checked back in within one minute because there's like a little glitch or a lag between the two laptops. Um, so just keep that in mind, give us some grace, but you have to double check. If you see a double charge or a mistake, email me, Janelle LaFrance, J LaFrance, at the Lutheran School email, and make sure that I go in and change it. I cannot change the time on the bill, but I certainly can change the amount. So I usually zero it out. If I've made a big mistake, I just put a big fat zero so that you're not charged for my mistakes. Um, if I make a mistake in your favor, you go ahead and you keep that mistake because that's, but just let me know so I can learn with you. We've got a much better process for check-in, check-out than we did the first week of school and we're learning and improving every day. So that is A-OK -okay charging and how you pay your bill. And if you have any questions, make sure you ask myself. Mirth Perry in the office is a great wizard on this stuff as well and we just are here to help you. Now I'll give you a little plug for the script program. In order to help pay for your child care bill, you can actually use your normal payments of regular stuff you buy for your house all the time, and you can use this program called Scrip. I, I just signed up for Scrip online, and now they have an app. It is so cool. So I made a tutorial about how to sign up for Scrip and how to use the app on your phone. It is really slick. I, for instance, we needed to buy a storm door for my house. So I bought like a bunch of money at Lowe's with 8% back. It was such a good deal because I, because then James and Lydia got some money for school. I needed to buy the door anyway. So I bought an e-gift card and now we, we can just pay for it up front ahead of time on an e-gift card. Use that and make money for James's school as well. It's a double whammy. It's a lot of fun to... And there's so many different places that are um, partaking in Scrip in different percentage amounts. So watch my tutorials on those if you need to. It's on my YouTube channel. You can just keep clicking through videos if you want. That's all I have for today. Have a lovely day.